Now, what I'm really curious about is like how, you know, what is information? If if we really, um, you know, em embrace a, a analytic idealism, how how do we actually work with information? Because it seems to be defined, you know, information is physical, you know, the Landau kind of approach. Um, like, I just wonder, like, you know, do we have to redefine our thoughts about what information is? Uh, we we bastardized the notion of information over the past, especially 30 years. There has been so much nonsense spouted out by people with the letters PhD post-fixing uh, their names. Uh, uh, it's, it's frustrating uh, sometimes. We are elevating the notion of information to the status of thing in itself, as if information could exist as a thing as opposed to a description of something else, um, which is, of course, nonsensical because information was originally uh, formally defined by Shannon in, in his 1948 uh, double paper um, that basically founded information theory. And there he's very, I mean, he, he was not a philosopher. He was talking about communication systems. So he was trying to create a theory that would allow us to design communication systems that have noisy channels with limited bandwidth. So we have to calculate you know, how much information a message has in order to figure out whether we can transmit it through a noisy channel with limited bandwidth. Very practical applications. But if you understand what he's saying, then what he calls information is a description of the possible states of a substrate. That's what information is. It's the degree of surprise that you have when you receive a message, which is a function of the possible states of a substrate. In other words, information is a description of the inherent possibilities or dynamics of a substrate. Information is not a thing. Information is the description of a thing. It's not a substrate unto it, itself. It's 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 a description of a substrate. Yeah, but, it sort of supervenes on some sort of underlying possibility. Correct. So you have to have a probability distribution, and then you can like you know talk about information. A absolutely. Correct. My, my question is the underlying substrate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I'm getting there. And then what started happening is because the incoherence of physicalism is, is now blatant and it's, it's obvious. Physicalism doesn't say what things are. Physicalism just says what they are not supposed to be. They're not supposed to be consciousness. They're not supposed to have experiential qualities. But what they are, physicalism doesn't say. It creates a vacuum which was filled in by people with poor cognitive skills um, with the notion that, well, if the thing that information describes is not there, then then there is a, there's just information. <laughs> it's like saying that when the if the Cheshire Care is greening, when the cat disappears, the green stays behind. Which of course Lewis Carroll did, but he was Lewis Carroll. Lewis Carroll can get away with that. Scientists cannot because it's nonsense. It has no semantic content. It doesn't mean anything. It's like saying you have a top. You're spinning the top on a table. And then you say, the top no longer exists, but the spin still does. What are you talking about? It's like saying there is a ripple on the lake. And when the lake stops existing, there's still a ripple. Well, what nonsense. Or there is a dancer performing a choreography. But when the dancer is no longer there, the choreography stays behind. Nonsensical stuff. But which we know is nonsensical. But when somebody says there's only information out there, we think it's some kind of, you know, highly intellectual, nuanced perspective. No, it's just bullshit. It's just bullshit. That's, that's all there is to it. It's incoherent. It does not mean anything. So what does IIT mean when they talk about information integration? What they are talking about is the information that is implied by the qualitative dynamics of experience. Information is a way to describe the degree of something, something qualitative about experience. And what you want to integrate is that something. But it's much easier to say I'm integrating information because information is the best description you can have 
of that something you're trying to integrate. So IIT is not elevating information to this level of abstraction of a Cheshire cat's green that stays behind after the cat disappears. It's not making that fault. Uh, IIT starts, the, the five axioms of IIT are, are the generalizable qualities of experience. It starts very grounded in the one ontological given of nature, which is the existence of the qualities of experience, which is where we all started from. Uh, IIT honors that, and it uses the word information as a very theoretically handy, unambiguous, and precise way to describe something salient about those qualities in their dynamics that we then say, if we maximize for that, for that salient thing, we will get experience. And the shorthand to say that is if we maximize for information integration. They are not incurring in ontological vagueness and miracles when they say that, like the miracle of the ripple, st or the miracle of the, the choreography staying behind after the dancer disappears. That's, they are not making that mistake. Who makes that mistake? He doesn't do it anymore. But once he did, Max Tegmark, in his 2014 book, Our Mathematical Universe, in, as a physicist, it, it, he's um, committed to this notion of there being something out there that isn't consciousness, that isn't mind, because mind is created here, right? But also as an honest physicist, he understands that everything we attribute to these things out there are nonsense. You know, the, 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 we attribute substance to mass. He knows it's nonsense. Mass is a handy way to describe certain behaviors. That's all there is to it. It doesn't have ontological substance. So he bit that bullet. He understood that and acknowledged it to himself. That's honesty. But then he said, therefore, all there is out there is mathematics. It's abstract relationships. The rest is baggage. That's the word he used. I'm quoting here, I'm using quotes as a quote, not as scare quotes. He uses this word. Everything else, what we call matter, is baggage. It's just conceptual baggage. There's no reason to believe this stuff exists. All we have reason to believe is that there are abstract relations because nature behaves in a regular way. Yes, but that's fine. But in a sense, he's making that mistake. He, he acknowledges that the substance of physicalism is illusory, it's not there, but then he doesn't follow through to the next obvious conclusion, which is there is a substance, it's just not what we thought it was. And information is still a description of that substance, not a thing unto itself, which is semantically nonsensical, it doesn't mean anything. So he made that mistake. Uh, Floridis makes this mistake. Floridis makes even a worse mistake, because he is proud of not giving any precise meaning to the word information. He says in a very convoluted way that the meaning of the word information depends on context, on the explicanda, and it's like, Jesus, man. No, since Hegel, I have not seen so much obscurantism, such an, a desperate attempt to hide the fact that you don't know what you're talking about by using many beautiful words. Um, th th this really hits my nerves. Uh, I, I don't think it's malicious, but I think in an unintended way, it is dishonest to self, dishonest to the person who, to, to, who is promoting this kind of stuff. IIT does not make this mistake. IIT, as Julio acknowledges, has an intrinsic ontology. He's just very careful in how far he extends that ontology. He keeps it as conservative as possible. He, he, he admits only as much ontology as, he's, as he absolutely needs in order for what he's talking about to make sense, to have base. Uh, but he does not extend it anymore, not a millimeter more. So yes, IIT has an intrinsic ontology. It doesn't go beyond that because IIT is science, not philosophy. And that intrinsic ontology grounds the meaning of the word information as it is used in information integration theory. It's not pure abstraction. It's not dancing in a vacuum of substance. It, it, it does have a coherent uh, defined meaning.
That's that's really helpful, actually. So so as I as I understand it, what that really means is that is that we have experiences with different qualities, and we can partition those, and then you get like a sub uh, states, and then you can say, well, I'm 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 seeing black, not white, and that's one bit of information like that. Correct. Yeah. yeah. And in information is a way to characterize. The discernible dynamics of qualitative states. Right, right, and and it doesn't mean that the qualitative states are some sort of expression of an underlying mathematical space. It's rather that you can look at those experiences and then, as you want, partition them. Uh, uh, and so you're not re- you're not imposing some sort of platonic realm. Correct. You're actually, just partitioning it as you want. Exactly. Okay. Exactly right. This is really beautiful. Yeah. Very, very helpful. Thank you. Thanks.